That's it, Betsy. That's it, Betsy. Woohoo! Oh, drag release. There it is. Oh, Let's drag go. release. That's it, Betsy. Gonna change the world. That's it, Betsy. Special guest. Holy. Very special. Big episode. We got a big episode today. Make a real difference. Make a real difference. Feed, Feed the, the poor, poor and heal the sick. Whoa, 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 Let's whoa, go. whoa. That's right. I'm wired up right now. <laughs> it's Connor Bedard. It's the Connor Bedard show. We got a lot of Connors on the show. We do. We we're, had a Connor yeah. last week. Got a Connor this week. We we're got Connor thinking Nick of transferring. Next. Yeah, we're, we're thinking of just shifting to uh, the podcast that interviews hockey players named Connor. Yeah, it's a pretty that niche might... podcast, but it would take off. V- very niche. Lots yeah. of good players named Connor. <laughs> Apparently, I need to name my kid Connor. I'm thinking next yeah. week maybe Connor yeah. McMichael. <laughs> and then, Michael? is there any other Connor? Yeah, Connor, um, Connor, Kyle Connor. Oh, we can't. We could go to last names <laughs> too. To last yeah. name. Oh, maybe uh, Connor McDavid. Oh, oh yeah, I heard he's kind of good. Eh? Him? Yeah. He's, yeah. Well, <laughs> mm, in the meantime, Bio Steel. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, yeah. Thanks. Uh, ah, big cheers. thanks to Bio Steel yeah. for uh, hooking cheers, us up. Boys. Right. What uh, flavor you got? I got uh, I'm blue. I'm I got going, the I'm pink. Going white freezy. I just took I a sip and I'm is. like, that is a white freezy. Probably peach. So we've been, uh, you know, just sipping on the uh, bio steel here, and after we interviewed pretty much everyone on the uh, World Junior gold medal team, we're like, hey, who's who's left? And uh, Connor Bedard there, he didn't respond to my DMs. Yeah. Ooh. I, Ooh. Yeah, I, wow, wow, wow. I think he gets a lot, maybe. Probably. Or, or he's actually probably just on the ice all the time. Yeah, not I, I bet you he's not. He doesn't even run his Instagram. Yeah, he might he's not tune in. He's, he's not even, yeah, he's not running his so, Instagram. Is he, he left though? me unread. Is he, though? It's okay, Jerry. I'm just trying to make you feel good, but. <laughs> Appreciate it. It might be. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I pulled he saw, some. He right. saw your game last night at the, at the men's league, and it was. Oh, he's been watching. Ferocious. No, oh, okay. No, no, Jer. <laughs> we, 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 me and Jer, Jer and I, I should say, have been struggling in men's league. Uh, we did lose. False. F- <laughs> just oh, what do you mean false? Just I keep scoring. <laughs> okay, I okay. I'm scoring too, but we're losing to guys with roller bags, and that's, we're, that's we true. haven't won a game all year. So that's why I meant by struggling. Mm. That is true. Sometimes our goalie lets in more goals than uh, we score. Yeah, not, not, it not on the mention, goalie. Not to mention the other team had five guys, and we had two lines. That only happened once. Get it done. That was. Well, you know what? It, it doesn't matter because we got Bedard on the pod, and we're that's just going to ask him. I'm like, exactly. how do I turn this around? Betsy? What can we do? Yeah. And he's going to save our season. Exactly. Like, it's going to show Chippy I think the last real game, toe drag release. Yeah, the last game, we we're, at, we're at the men's league. I show up, and I guess the kids were playing bef- before in Lafroy. Yeah. So Jerry and I roll in. They know both of us. Mm-hmm. And so we, we're taking pictures. Oh, with hold on. I'm going to pause it right there. Yeah, go. Walk in the dra- we walk in the lobby. There's one kid, right? Mm-hmm. He looks at me. He says, Coach Jeremy. He looks over, sees Chippy. Coach Chippy. He turns, runs into the dressing room. And then the entire dressing room just empties into the lobby. It was crazy. <laughs> and it was like mayhem. Mayhem. We and had you guys had five, what, minutes. five minutes we to get on the ice. five minutes to get on the ice. And I'm like, and then Jerry like is some sort of like speed dresser. Dude, so I'm putting on my I'm putting on my shin pad and this guy has his helmet on. I'm like, Jerry. I was heading out. What I'm, the heck? It's honestly ridiculous. I'm grabbing like, my twig. Pick me up earlier, because I don't I'm I don't get dressed in two minutes. Dude, <laughs> I, I need more than two minutes, Jerry. I'm Superman. I hop in that phone booth. I'm in my suit. No, it was crazy. And then and then I got all the kids looking into the room. I'm getting dressed. <laughs> to get my and then the, all the kids were like, hey, mom, can we stay and watch Coach Chippy toe drag release? And then, of course, I haven't got my skate sharpened mm, probably no. in about nine, probably, I probably like 15 times since I got the last sharpened. And uh, I had no edge. So I couldn't show the kids the toe drag release because I could barely skate. And you had a few good rips on that. No, I did. I yeah. did. The first shift, I come out hard. I got these kids in the stands. And that's why I want to ask Betsy, like, he's rocking into the rink. 18,000, all oh. eyes watching his every move. I've had 12, 12 year olds watching me and I couldn't perform. So I want to ask him, bro, how are you staying like focused on the game? Like, I'm going to be honest though, that is the first time I've uh, really performed in front of uh, an audience, uh, anyone who cared at all, mm-hmm. uh, in quite a while. And it was fun. It I was fun. It. I, I got way more fired up. I came out hard. I was, yeah. We were buzzing that first at shift. My last, my last men's league game, you guys weren't there. It was the cold water one. And there was a few kids, like maybe like, Three or four, and then they went and got all their friends that were on the ice before. Yeah, yeah, and they exactly. were all. Co- no, I got one penalty. It. I get like maybe one penalty all year. I got a penalty. They all come over to the penalty box and try to give me fist bumps through the glass. Nice. Nice. But they were cheering for like yeah, about ten minutes before they had to go home. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, we we they were cheering and then they left and we score. We were down like four <laughs> yeah. or five one at that point. It was yeah, not good. So it was atrocious. Second, it was actually atrocious. S- second period, we're down by like three goals. Oh my goodness. We see them all like leaving with their head down, disappointed. Uh, <laughs> right when the last like, kid left. 
I buried one. Yeah, right. like, like, they should have had a goal chip, horn, chip, so they would it would exactly. summon them back. Chip, Chippy drove it to the net. Oh like we, we were we were buzzing out there. He's poop, and and you know it came out to me and uh, bam, put in the net. Yeah, yeah. But no, I'm not gonna lie to you. It was not my best performance. That's all right. Yeah, it was in front of a crowd. It was in front of you know 14, 15, you know a, t- a team <laughs> there, and uh, I wasn't used to it. Wasn't used to the pack bar, and that's for sure. I'm thinking uh, maybe over the summertime we do like a series, like best we'll pack the barns. Se- yeah, no, best best season ever, and we just like do some ridiculous training. Like we'll talk to Bedard uh, once he hops on here in the podcast, get some tips from him. Like he had that uh, when he like broke an arm and he was training with one hand for like two months. Yeah, like his forearms are just the size, of- right? So so maybe we'll do something crazy like that. Like we'll just uh, we'll, we'll just train with one arm all summer. Like one yeah, hand. One oh hand. Oh my gosh, two, that would be ridiculous. You know like one arm toe drags, one arm shots. Like, could you imagine though? Because it is a serious advantage to be able to control, yeah. like, do things that other people aren't used to. So if we're out there and we can like just shield the puck, one hand control it, and even get a shot off with one arm. Yeah, like if if but like we, the Crosby one hander. Yeah. 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 If we actually train and try to like get better like i don't like i'm not training at hockey like nah. i i want to get better but i'm just like i don't play enough this off season we're gonna like, like, yeah like i actually want to like put, be putting up two points a game in men's league i like there's no question i should be doing that yeah and i'm not and i'm a little bit frustrated i'm fighting the game a little bit right now but let's make a difference i say we document it and everyone else can uh join along and everybody is is you know has the same motivated goal the group the high We're all mind. trying to get better. Everyone yeah. wants the best season ever, and we all just get together and we go for it. Yeah, as like a squad, mm. the Puck Daddy squad, the How to Hockey squad, the yeah. Style and Flow squad. You know, everyone unite, best season ever, and just really work on like unique, interesting stuff. I'll tell you what I want to work on. It's like my one-on-one game, like mm. attacking a defender. Because I always, I'm always, I got one defender left to beat, and then I always settle for the cut middle shoot. Yeah. But I want to like attack the triangle more, attack the skates. I don't know. I have, I have no. I wasn't a forward, so that's my right. defensive. We mind. can we can help you with that. Relax, Hayden. <laughs> well, relax. I know. I actually know. Well, Hayden, I can Hayden help actually, you with it. Hayden, no, Hayden's actually got some mitts. Like that's Hayden true. actually does like. Like if you go one on one with me long enough, you'll pick up a few things. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like just like where what to look at when I'm. Yeah. I even ask Betsy like, "What are you looking at when you're coming down that wing?" Yeah. Playing Smart. a Smart. playing a like a defense like. Are you mm-hmm. looking to just rip do drag releases for your shoes <laughs> or what's he what are, you, what are you looking for? So for everyone, it's like guys, it's uh, eight minutes into the pod. Where's Bedard at? Is this a troll? <laughs> we he's coming. I just got the email. He'll be on shortly. They're just finishing up with him over there at BioSteel. So. um... Stay tuned. Yeah, they're vetting on making sure he doesn't say anything at all. Well, he's pretty nervous. He's pretty nervous to hop on, so he's yeah, probably like doing some like dogs, eh? Yeah, he's the media pre media training. Exactly, yeah. media training. He's taking some deep breaths. He's just like hey, they're, they're the showing big puck daddy they're, stage. They're he's, showing him every Coach Chippy video just to make sure that this what could, this what could come your way right now. Yeah. We don't know what this guy is, who this guy is. Like. He's unpredictable. That's Chippy yeah, in a yeah, nutshell. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> exactly. I might break into character. I might start calling them. Or just get a skit going. Betsy, Betsy where's the it, forearm, Betsy. forearm training? That's it, Betsy. Where's the forearm curls? Uh, Betsy, you were late today to practice. <laughs> there you go. Hit him with that, eh? First question. Yeah, that's actually it. We did ask uh, on our on all of our socials, you know, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, if you want to be one of the 30 people that follow on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, Twitter is a bit lacking, but we haven't really pushed it at all. <laughs> no, we haven't been going there hard, but we had, like, we were only like 15 grand. There was a few people okay. that answered, though, which I was surprised. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Twitter, yeah, I think Twitter's like one of those ones where I want to start growing on Twitter. Just like, oh. it's like, it's like a cool social media. I like... Elon's, it's almost Elon's like doing a, his thing over there. I like what he's doing. It's just like, like it's a news outlet almost is what it I is, see. It is, but as, like yeah. I see like yeah, like you can get your message out to like yeah. a lot of people. Like if someone retweets something, it like off, it's actually yeah. crazy. It like, can yeah. spread. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Hey, I'll give you the keys to the uh Puck Daddy Twitter and you just Yeah, you can yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. be I'll be in the comment section every <laughs> it's responding to like events and stuff. Like the commenting is huge on Twitter. Yeah. Like All right, well let's let's uh take a brief break and then we'll come back with Bedard. Let's do Betsy. It. Wait, yeah. they won't even know it's a break. That's fair, yeah. It's just going to be, welcome <laughs> to the podcast, <laughs> Connor Bedar. <laughs> oh, who we got Betsy. here? Betsy. Oh, welcome to the pod. Betsy's got no Connor camera. Connor Bedard with no camera. Yeah. Betsy. <laughs> are you in Regina right now? Where are you? Yeah, I am. Regina? Regina. Nice. At, some, at a sporting store. What were you doing there? Uh, we were doing the whole, like, give the bottle. Oh, the bottle exchange. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Nice. But... Trade deadline. I thought you just lived in a pro shop. This bottle, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Badsy, Beauty. Badsy, how's your day going today, bud? Flowing? Not too bad. Yourself? What'd you get up to? Did you have a practice this morning? Yeah, we did. Workout, skate, some school. Some Getting school. In the I love it. I love it. How's that going? Is it hard to balance it? Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not bad. Like, I'm pretty close to being finished, which is nice, but uh, we're pretty busy, so, but it's, it's not bad. You got the teachers on you, like, hey, you know, maybe don't focus so much on hockey because it's important <laughs> to get your education. Yeah. Yeah, they think I put a little a little too much time into hockey, maybe. What's your what's your favorite subject? <laughs> uh probably like English. Math is tougher for me. Yeah, you like writing? Are you like you like writing those essays or Yeah, I'm pretty creative, so just yeah, like, like on the ice. ice. Yeah, creative yeah. on the ice too. I love it. Good. I've seen that. All right, sweet. Uh we're just firing up the podcast. Uh you know, how how long you got? Like twenty minutes, half an hour, six hours? Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah around. <laughs> Yeah, 15, 20, yeah, well, we got We got 90 yeah. questions here, Beds, we're going to ask you here, so just be prepared. Rapid fire. We're just going to go at it. Um, so, Coach Jeremy, How to Hockey. I'm Coach Chippy. Yeah, I've, I guess we should introduce ourselves. You might have seen some of his I haven't, videos. I haven't ever seen you on. You haven't seen it? Eh? You haven't seen Coach Chip? Oh, no, never. <laughs> never, never seen, seen it, eh? I love it. I love it. I never, I never get screamed at about you. <laughs> Throw drag release, Benzie. Throw drag release. You haven't had any of that I happen? That, I hear that more than my name now. So oh. yeah, I got a funny, I got a funny story to tell you, dude. I was at a, a men's league game the other day, yeah. and uh, we got, we had a couple, we had a couple fans tuning in, and right, so they're, they're in the crowd. This is the first time I played in front of a crowd, and they're all, <laughs> bro. I'm getting nervous out there because I've never, like, you know, what? I got these 14 year olds screaming throw drag release. Hard for me to perform. So I want to ask you, you got 18,000 eyes on you like every game. How do you uh, like stay focused, man? Because it threw me off. Like I was, I couldn't play. Honestly, it was the worst game I've ever played. So I want to ask you that. How do you stay focused? A lot, a lot of pressure with the 12 kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's different now. Like uh, obviously on our trips, it's, it's been sold out, which has been, which has been unbelievable. I mean, uh, saddle them at, like you said, 18,000. So you, you go out there and. Look at that. I mean, it's pretty crazy, but uh, you know, when I walk out, that's all I hear too. Is it though, drag uh, release? Oh, every time. Oh, it's man. like 30 kids just screaming at me. So it's pretty funny, but um, no, I mean, you, uh, you've you made me more popular. So let's go, <laughs> Bad you. Hey, we got a little mutual, little ben- mutually beneficial thing going the Twin on. Towers. <laughs> yeah. That was going to be my opening question is uh, how have you dealt with all the fame after ever since uh, Coach Chippy made you famous? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, uh, no one knew me, and then uh, this guy <laughs> his videos, and uh, I got got a little popularity. So power of no, but I, yeah, no, you uh, you definitely upped it. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, it was the World Juniors there. It was like I was making the videos after every game because you guys you had a wagon of a team, and I just I was just I just love you know commenting like how can I make this funny? How can I take something maybe what the players are thinking, and then like trying to make the players laugh. Like that's what I like doing. So like I'll try to like take something funny, something relatable, make people laugh. And like after every game, it was like, what's Betsy thinking? A guy goes out, he scores four goals, two assists. What's he, th- what's going through his mind? So like, I try to like, you know, take those funny little plays, but going to the world juniors, what was it like? What was that experience like? Yeah. I mean, it was unbelievable. Like, uh, obviously we had it in the summer, which was, which was great, but uh, you know, a little different with, uh, you know, fans and stuff. It wasn't, I mean, it's August. It's, it's a little different bit of, bit of a different setting but I mean it was crazy in Halifax I mean obviously you know you guys watched it I'm sure and um you know every every goal it felt you know especially you know the quarters and semis and and finals it was like the buildings were up you can't even hear yourself think and um you know for us to be able to experience that was was it was unbelievable and um you know I think uh you know with those fans I mean Halifax it's it's pretty crazy there and you know we were talking talking after and we heard it was like they get that for a junior game sometimes it's like Twelve thousand people for for a Moosehead game, which is which is unbelievable. It just shows the you know hockey community and and the passion they have. So I mean, it was it was unreal. It was so much fun. You get a, a ton of people who just love the game in that area. You know that barn is just packed, and the, the energy there was just wild. I heard that it was hot in that rink as well, uh, especially when you guys were scoring these uh, just highlight reel goals. Uh, yeah. Talking about the highlight reel, what about that OT goal, like? Can you walk us through what was going through your head there and, and how you pulled that one off? Yeah, I mean, I think their goalie was unbelievable that game. And um, I think I had, you know, four or five shots in OT and, um, you know, couldn't beat them. So, uh, you know, I wanted to obviously make a play. And, um, you know, I 
saw saw the first guy and then uh, just just made a move. I mean, you're not thinking in those moments. It's it's kind of instincts. Just and, flowing. Um, as Chippy just would flowing, say. Yeah, yeah, think just flow, uh, Badsy. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of Chip and, and what he'd do in senior men's. And, yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. Back, uh, went in, but no, that was that was pretty crazy to uh, to do that. Um, not even if it was you know a tap in or, or whatever. It was uh, you know really special to you know have a goal like that and and kind of see the reaction of, of everyone. And then the heartbreaker, Sally. Sally, like was that in the back of your mind, or are you just like I'm just gonna throw this out right now? <laughs> It was it was a bit in the back of my mind, it, not like in the game, but uh, no, just as a kid, you see, you know, Kaner do it, obviously, and yeah, um, right. Caulfield hit it in the in Wisconsin, and um, you know, it's a pretty sweet, Sally. It's got to be got to be the right time, and I felt like that was uh, it's got to be OT. Perfect time. Oh, it was a big boy uh, time. It was a big boy yeah. time. So, uh, <laughs> so no, I mean, I just just did it, and uh, you know, people, I did it the wrong way too. So uh, I don't think people. I, I liked that, your interpretation of that's it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I tried, but uh, no, I mean, it was uh, just kind of in the moment, and you know, I think people liked it. Hey, to your credit, at least you remembered it was OT, eh? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> Oth- yeah. We had Othman on the pod. He goes, he or, no, it was, he was Gunther. Ta- it was Gunther. Gunther, Gunther, Gunther didn't yeah. realize he was an OT. Yeah. yeah, he talks it, and then everyone's like, he kept his equipment on. That's what uh, Othman was saying. Yeah. And it was like, <laughs> it was, what's this guy doing? <laughs> yeah, no, that was crazy. It was like golden goal like everyone wants that as a kid this guy just kind of puts his hands up and gives a little smirk so uh it's pretty showtime i thought but against the Slovakians, like you were like that was like late in your shift like you were on for a while there and like you stayed out there you got that puck like were you gassed at the end there i swear you're out there for like a minute over a minute or something like that um yeah i mean i don't know it's three on three is a little slower pace sometimes i think with uh, puck possession and everything and uh i take some long shifts sometimes so um but no i think uh you know in the moment you, you have so much adrenaline and stuff and um you know just getting the puck and, and obviously like i said just just want to make a play and um you know i felt felt pretty tired after but uh you know in the moment it, it wasn't too bad it's it's like uh as the shift goes on you get hungry and hungry and hungry you get the puck on your stick you make the first move and then the second and then all of a sudden you're a superhuman like you're not you're not gonna miss you're just flowing trying to score yeah yeah Yeah. you you've scored some pretty unreal goals thus far in your career i'd say that was one of the most memorable ones for me as a fan watching but in terms of you like what's the most memorable goal that you've scored so far uh, yeah, it's tough not to say that one, but um, I think that one and also the uh, one against Russia in the U18s, mm, yeah. um, just kind of the, the excitement of that goal. And um, I just missed a penalty shot as well. So, I um, mean, you know, obviously I wasn't wasn't too happy with myself. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, to go out there and, and be able to, to put one in was was nice. And, um, you know, I think that was it was a bad sell. It wasn't as good as a heartbreaker, <laughs> but uh I was, I was over over the moon excited for for both of those. The redemption goals are always uh, they stand yeah. high in your oh, memory, yeah. right? Because yeah. you want it more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Was, the U eighteen team was stacked as well. You had a great squad there, yeah. and Mason Matavish, and yeah, that's a. Uh, oh. We were uh, missing like because Cole Sillinger was going to come, I I believe, and uh, the Quebec guys. So just shows how deep that 03 group. I mean, every group in Canada, but that 03 group. Yeah, was, Shane uh, Shane Wright was saying. Uh, his uh that age group their team was like they went like undefeated in the oh in the o in yeah, the, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no yeah in triple a in the triple a yeah, yeah. yeah like that age group was just unreal yeah. so. is, is there any yeah, they don't brag about that constantly no, <laughs> not at all eh? <laughs> they're in the locker room just talking about their minor hockey career or what so, uh, the don mills the trio yeah there. that's <laughs> what they're saying yeah <laughs> is it like you and stan coven the whl guys versus the ohl guys or is there any like oh yeah it was uh arguments all the time which league's better and uh oh, the q really? guys would chime in too so uh, <laughs> yeah, but, the q's higher <laughs> scoring isn't it like they they get uh, a lot more goals in the q yeah. yeah yeah whenever you get guys in different leagues it's gonna be uh it's gonna be about even with like kj and uh ken johnson mm-hmm. owen power and stuff like last december it was you know college route versus right. versus ch <laughs> right. it's, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's fun so what's the right answer <laughs> <laughs> uh, i mean it depends who you are. I mean, for me, I, I always, I mean, I've enjoyed my time with the dub and, uh, you know, I'm happy with, with that decision, but both routes are great. I mean, um, you know, I know a lot of people that went to college and, and they've loved it and, and same with the, the CHL. So um, obviously it depends what you're thinking and, and all that. So, I mean, either route is, is amazing. Beauty. Uh, going back to the world junior, I uh, have to ask the question, what was going on in that interview? The, uh, you just dart, our eyes were darting space around. Space cadet. Hey, you're a space cadet. Tell us what was going on there. 
Yeah, I had uh, I was getting ripped. Like Biz was ripping me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I saw it, man. Yeah. It was it was going viral, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, no, that was funny. But um, what happened? I was I was getting interviewed, and I mean, in the game, uh, in the first place, you're you know, so into the game and, and so much adrenaline. It's like it's a little harder to answer, I think. And uh, but what happened was uh, I got that question, and the whole Slovakian team was walking by, and they're just giving it to me. Like, so just, it is true. Just, <laughs> just shred me, yeah. And um, mm-hmm. so. I mean, I want to say something back, but it's like you're on camera and, and all that. So I kind of just looked at them. I mean, I look pretty stupid and I watched it. But um, no, I mean, that's uh, just in a moment. And I, I kind of forgot the question. You didn't too. look stupid. It, no. You just looked distracted. Like It, it, it was yeah. great. I actually thought, like, this guy's mind is on the game. That's okay with me if that's all you can think yeah. about. And yeah, you looked fired up. So so what happened after the uh, the interview? Um, I mean, Otter kind of told you. Guys <laughs> yeah. that we want some deeds, squad. Say, as much but yeah i mean their dressing room was right beside ours too so um i my interview kind of ended right when uh right when their last few guys were going in so uh there was some words exchange obviously but uh you know it's part of the game and i think that's that's good they, they played us hard and um you know i think that was their mindset going in is is to get us off our game and of play course. physical and all that and, and they did a great job i mean it was uh it's cool to see for obviously them and and the czech republic obviously i play with stanislav's Fosel and uh, just the pride they have in, in their countries with with the sport is is unbelievable. Love it, great response. And you know what? That's just it's competition. It's you're you're giving your best, and they're giving their best, and they're doing anything they can to win. And so are you. You know, on the the big stage. So love to see a little bit of that. And you come out with respect for each other in the end. In uh, that answer right there, just reminds me of uh, your your championship speech there. I don't want to talk about myself. Uh, yeah. that, that's just an iconic answer. Uh, absolutely love it. So I just want to th- throw that out there. It's a, a real puck daddy response. We're all about the positivity and hockey. Yeah, because we're positive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it's about. Bedard's a uh, puck daddy for sure. Yeah. Um, I actually I actually meant to start the podcast with this question. Um, will you be my Valentine? Say yes. Say yes, oh. say, yes. Oh. say yes, big dog. You got to say yes, eh? <laughs> so tough. is there a lot of uh, like fan interactions you have like that? Like is it um i mean there's there's some and that was at our we had like a team signing event and um you know obviously people came out and and got you know from our whole team and stuff and uh yeah that one was pretty funny and i mean no it's it's a little awkward but it's it's cool too like uh right people like you and stuff but uh no i mean it was it was funny i was getting uh i was getting bugged about it by my by my team for sure the next day did they ask uh, you (laughs) yeah yeah oh yeah (laughs) By the tenth guy that walked in, I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, like, oh, sorry, yeah. sorry to drive yeah, it home one more time. New, boys. Someone yeah. should have showed up with like a That's bouquet news, of eh? flowers and chocolates for you or something. <laughs> oh, <there> you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. Nah, I, I thought yeah. you handled it great. You handled yeah, no, it great. It you got a lot more interactions like that coming up. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> We had a, a list of questions that we sent to uh, get pre-approved. So let's go through all those for the minor hockey, for the kids watching. Um, I'm going to start at the top here. What was uh, oh, what's what's your favorite BioSteel flavor? Yeah. We got a few here. I got the one you're drinking right now. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, yeah. each one. There you go. Yeah, it's the good. white. The oh, white yeah. freezy is pretty dynamite. What are your guys' fav- favorites? I got to go with blue. I, I think, think mine is tie between this one and the white freeze or the whatever right. you call it. Yeah, I'm drinking the white freezy, so I guess it's white freezy today. All right. Are you gonna do a review anytime soon on it? You want or? a little? You yeah, want yeah. a little bio still review? <laughs> yeah, you got it. I'll do one just for Betsy. One. Just for Betsy. Eh? Hey, we don't have time on the pod. Hey, eh? we got it. We're we're down to like three minutes left. Let's go. For <laughs> Dynamite. <laughs> uh, what was your minor hockey experience like? You know, every kid is different. Just t- a brief little run through of you know what it was like growing up playing hockey and any memorable coaches that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. becoming uh, or getting to where you are today. Yeah. What was the highest scoring? Minor hockey game. I had, <laughs> I had 17 points in a game, just so you know. Well, welcome to... Uh, See, the... That's why I'm the coach, but uh, yeah, what was your <laughs> highest... Welcome to Coach Chippy's podcast. and uh... Highest scoring men's or er, minor hockey game. Uh, I, I don't know if it was even 17. He might have me beat, to be honest. I think I might. I, I mean, it's... Yeah, I mean, really he was also I mean, like four years old. I was, hey, I was a you're prodigy. You're about to start yeah. climbing the draft <laughs> rankings. Hey, you're going to start climbing up. You're going to close to Bedard for the number one pick. <laughs> All right. No, uh, but uh, yeah, take us through I'm, the minor hockey experience. Yeah, I'm lucky to you know be from Vancouver and um, you know obviously pretty pretty passionate about about their hockey and um, you know for me I think most of my training growing up was just going on. I mean, you guys have ODR in, in the I'm not sure where you guys are from, but Ontario, yeah, uh, colder colder areas and uh, for me you know we didn't have the ODRs as much. So uh, I was at North Shore Winter Club. It's it's called. It always had kind of open ice and uh, just me and a few buddies would go out and. 
for five, six hours a day, just kind of wow. you know, fool around, you know, get creative and, uh, you know, obviously, obviously work on stuff. But uh, when you're a kid, I think it's just all about having fun. And, um, you know, I mean, if it's, if it's too serious right off the bat, it's going to, you know, kind of get annoying as, as a, you know, six, seven year old. So for me, it was just about, you know, enjoying it. And, you know, I have so much creativity. I'd, I'd come home and play mini six against myself. My, <laughs> my sister never wanted to. So, um, <laughs> I'd create like uh, playoff brackets and uh, play against myself teams. So just like stuff like that. I just, uh, you know, I always love the game and, and kind of doing stuff like hey, that. Get ready for the next uh, Coach Chippy skit here. It's Ben's <laughs> <laughs> sticks against himself. I, I know. I love to hear that you're creative. I think that's Great. like a big aspect of, uh, especially as like an offensive player, like you're always looking for different things that you could do to beat a defender. And I was talking to Jared a little bit. When you're coming in one-on-one, what are you looking for against a uh, defenseman like what are you looking to attack like do you see like open areas or i might go left i might go middle what are you looking for like in terms of creativity getting an edge yeah how do you yeah. be a guy um, yeah <laughs> no i look for his stick positioning his his feet obviously if he crosses over and uh you know it depends how much speed you have you know if you're looking for a shot i try to you know bait a stick one way and then shoot around him or, or kind of sh- shoot through that or if i'm trying to beat him i you know, figure a shot and, and if he you know, if he doesn't bite, then then it's tough. But um, you know, if he kind of stays there and and you can can tell that he's kind of selling out to block it, then you can uh, you can make a move. And and for me, that's that's sort of what I do. And uh, you know, it's kind of about just in the moment, obviously what what feels right and and what he's giving you. Now, are you uh, like throwing out a little delay there on those fake shots? Uh, are you coming in with a ton of speed, or are you more of like an edge guy? <laughs> I f- yeah, I feel like I'm more east to west. I, you know, I'm not not skating like McDavid or anything. Where I'm just just burning guys. But uh, you know, for me, I think you know a lot of my game is is kind of east to west and and trying to create off that and and uh, you know obviously get guys biting and stuff. And I um, mean, you know, obviously, if I if I have a guy you know beat if he's you know standing still and I get the puck on a turnover or something, obviously I'll I'll try to go around him. But um, you know, just a simple one on one, I haven't you know done that as much in my game. I think it's trying to. You know, obviously, kind of, you know, see see where where he is and and beat him that way. Right, beauty. Going back to your, oh, actually, uh, we had a question. Speaking of the North Shore Winter Club, uh, from Nick the goalie, he wanted to know what your favorite food item was there. He said he loves the grilled cheese. Food, I love like tacos and burritos. Okay. Uh, stuff those. I'm a big big Chipotle fan, so oh, um, you know, those are it's probably my favorite favorite train of those. But no, I know I love those. That, that, Sushi that, is well. at the North Shore Winter Club though. Oh, at the North Shore Winter Club. Yeah, yeah. I think I said that right. Just in general, uh, they had this um, when I was growing up. This pork, like yakisoba, it was called. Mm-hmm. It was like these noodles and and pork that was unreal. Unfortunately, they took it off the menu, but uh, oh, it's got to go back. Yeah, it's, it's got to go back for Betsy. We need yeah. it. We need it back. It's, yeah, it's got to be called the, the Bedard noodles now. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll talk to him about it. But uh, no, I mean that was always always my favorite. All right, hopping on there. What, what favorite pregame meal? Uh, chicken, rice, veggies, shrimp. Sometimes I'll throw in there. Uh, usually, but on, on the road, I'll go past as well, kind of. But but at home, usually, usually I get that. Staples. All right. Like uh, minor hockey. What were some of your favorite drills at practice? Um, shooting. I mean, I always I always love to love to shoot the puck. And um, for me, I think I love love one on one on one, two on one sort of stuff. And um, <clears throat> just whenever you're you're being competitive with someone, I think. I think that's always the best uh you know improve and and uh you know the most fun when you know, you're chirping a guy and, and giving it to him and on your own team and stuff and uh just making each other better so i always enjoyed enjoyed those type of drills right is that so your shot obviously ridiculous is that what you focused on the most i know you had like some sweet training set up at home did your, your neighbor like built it or something or helped uh build like a shooting spot for you yeah uh yeah i was out front for my whole life and um you know, i remember my earliest memory of it is kind of like it was, it was raining and you know I was out shooting and uh, you know I couldn't get couldn't get the top corner, so I was out there just trying to get the top corner and and I couldn't get it for so long and then right. I finally hit it and yeah, I Coach think Chippy you know, came along and showed you how to do it yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> I got top and uh, you now I hit it and and I was ecstatic and you know, ever since then I always shoot in the front until me and my my dad broke a few windows <laughs> in the in the front of the house so we we moved to the back my neighbor was nice enough to obviously build that and it's a uh, really sweet set i'm not sure if you guys have seen it or anything maybe but yeah it's like um, a cage it's a full-on cage it's enclosed yeah yeah it's sweet and then uh you know i'd get awesome matthews videos kind of going on my phone yeah. and, and try, to, try to do that so 
Uh, I know that's kind of always been, I mean, I don't think it's, you know, what I focus on the most, but it's just accessibility. You're always doing it. You're always stick handling and it's what I've, what I've thing, done so much. One thing I've noticed about your shot that kind of differentiates you from uh, the rest of the like popular shots is right before you're releasing it, you are actually looking down and then as you're shooting up, you kind of look up and I'm sure that it's kind of like a subconscious thing you do, but it actually, in my mind, makes it a lot harder for the goalies to read kind of similar to Matthews where he's changing the angle, but you're changing the angle and they don't even know that where you're going to shoot it. Cause you're not even looking up yet. Is that like something that you worked on or is it just kind of a habit that's formed? Yeah, it's a little subconscious, like you said there, but, uh, I saw a video on kind of the breakaway mm -hmm. shot where I'm looking down and yeah. I never thought about it at all, but it, it could, you obviously don't want to have your head down, but if you already know where you're going and stuff and well you kind of you know, look you, and then you know where you're going yeah. you're looking down the goalie's not even ready then you're already shooting it yeah, then you kind of look wiring yeah. this puck i've studied yeah. a lot of tape <laughs> yeah, like. so I, I could go into more detail on a different podcast about this because he's not the only uh guy right it's it's a it's a thing but i, I think a lot of uh, your shots there's someone in the way and you're doing the toe so it's like you're kind of pulling off one move first making sure you, and then you your heads up and you're you know picking a spot but also good goal scorers already know where they're shooting like they can look anywhere like he can have his eyes closed yeah. right yeah pretty much does <laughs> no, sometimes <I'm>, yeah. <laughs> yeah i do goalies are uh, goalies are so good now it's so tough to beat them one on is it, one like is it when you're going four and two every night? Like, is it tough <laughs> yeah. to beat them, Betsy? Because well, it looks like you're just sniping on these guys. Hold on. Let's talk about I was looking at your uh, game logs uh, there in the dub. And oh, my so, goodness. Some games, you're getting like 13 shots on goal. How are you getting that many shots? Because most good players will get maybe four or five. How, how are you getting 10 plus <laughs> on, a, on multiple <laughs> occasions? Just rifling the thing. What's the <laughs> secret? Uh, I think getting myself to the middle of the ice as much as I can and um, – you know, I, I obviously love to shoot, and I think I think lately it's you know it's been a little less just because there's guys you know respecting that shot so much, and then it, it opens up you know one of my teammates for for a play or something. But um, you know, I mean, if I have a shot, I'm I'm gonna shoot, and um, you know, obviously it goes in or not. But um, you know, if I if I see a lane and I'm able to you know get myself a, a decent opportunity, then then I'm you know willing to shoot it. Yeah, you're talking about the, you're an East West guy. Obviously, you're you're burning guys. Uh, I think that really helps you're, you're creating a lot of shooting opportunities that most people wouldn't have like you find something that other people wouldn't be able to get but yeah it's uh it's just wild to see that um going to uh speaking of biosteel uh, you have a chance to go to the biosteel camp and you're playing with some of the the top dogs in the league what was that like yeah. playing against guys like mcdavid and you know uh, a, a long slew of the the most elite guys what was that like for you yeah, it was it was unbelievable. I mean, uh, we get there, we're in you know such a nice hotel, and um, get up for breakfast. It's like omelet bar, smoothie bar, and stuff. And yeah. you know, just kind of obviously you get treated treated so great with with all that. And uh, but you know, you get to the I was I was super nervous. I mean, there's like David, Mc, you know, McKinnon, Eichel, like all these guys that are you know top players in the NHL, and and you're out there with them as as you know a younger kid. And uh, but no, for me, I was just trying to take it all in. I you tried to ask a few questions, not not be annoying, but uh, you know, get some advice and um, just just compete against them. I think you know that's one thing. One thing with them, we were doing you know a lot of battle drills and stuff, kind of right before the season, and you know they they were going hard, and I think that was so good for me going into my year, just seeing that and, and getting to go against that. So uh, you know, it was, it was such a great opportunity for me. That has to be a competition, a level of competition you haven't gone against before. You're in the dub, you're playing against you know guys your own age for the most part. Uh, and then you're playing against like the most elite guys out there. Did they take it easy on you, or were they going hard? Like, did they shove you around a little? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they were. They didn't want me to score or anything, so uh, <laughs> they were going hard. But that's what you want. That's that's what's gonna get you better. And um, you know, I think you know, for me, probably the coolest part was McDavid set me up for a for a backdoor tap. And if you guys have seen that oh, in a yeah. in a script, oh, that's gotta feel good, eh? <laughs> Yeah, stuff like that. You just, you know, you remember it. And, and they were so good to me. I mean, like, you know, I get there and everyone's talking to me and stuff. You know, they don't have to do that to a kid. It's just uh, you know, a lot of character. And, um, you know, to be able to learn from them, like I said, was, was so, so special. Unreal. I love it. I got a question, Bedsy. This one I just got to know personally. We got one, one last question here to wrap it up, right? Love it. Yep. What's your, what's your pregame music? What do, you, what do you listen to, favorite artist? What's Bedsy got in there? Um, I don't, know, I don't I don't really have a favorite artist, I wouldn't think, but um, I, I like rap and, and hip hop sort of thing. And uh, we listen to some EDM in the room, kind of a mix mix of those two before games. Um, 
there's a few guys that like rock, which, uh, I like you know, that. I haven't listened to it as much, but, um, no, I think, uh, whatever, whatever gets the boys going. Listen to some, the doors, the doors, I'm putting doors. you on right now. The doors, Spadzy, the doors. So, sorry, I got one last, this is a real quick one. Uh, what's your stick setup, your curve flex? What are you going with? Uh, P92, 70 flex. Beauty. 70, so nice. super, super whippy. Yeah. It's like a slingshot. Okay. All right. Well, it has been absolutely amazing having you on the pod. I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down with us and uh, wishing you know, all the all the luck in the world and uh, all the best. And, uh, Thanks a lot. Yeah, looking forward to seeing Bad you Z. on the ice some more. What don't we do, Betsy? What don't we do? We don't think <laughs> we know. just flow. We don't We don't <laughs> think we just flow, Betsy. Let's go. Uh, I haven't watched your videos enough. I'll get on that. <laughs> get get studying, yeah. Hey, yeah, stay flow. focused. Hey, delete TikTok, delete Instagram. Yeah. Stay focused. Yeah, stay off it. Yeah, you stay got off it. Don't things. see what I'm doing. You don't want to see what I'm doing on there. <laughs> hey, thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Cheers, Betsy. Appreciate you, brother. See you, Connor. Yeah. Thanks. All we right. Just crammed this open. Man, no, that was great. That was great. We're flowing. Whoever's whoever's like yeah, moderating this... the comments for me is like, okay, they said I... there was gonna be six questions. This is... <laughs> <laughs> we got oh. one more question, Bedsy. Right. <laughs> we got two more. I, I sent the boys at BioSteel like eight questions. They said we had 20 minutes. And I was I sent eight, and that's like we're gonna cover basically all those. But like a good podcast, you're flowing. You're just chatting. You're you need like if I'm sitting here reading question after question, you got after question, through half of those in the last five minutes, so it's perfect. Yeah. But to be fair, like mm-hmm. if if we started the podcast there, it's just like you're just throwing questions. It's, it doesn't have that same vibe. Like yeah. that's not the type of podcast we are. So it's like it was awesome. No, oh, yeah, huge, like, huge thanks to BioSteel. Oh, I forgot to ask. We were supposed to talk about the bottle exchange. Oh. I, I tried to I tried to signal yeah. you for it because he said we're doing the bottle change, exchange. I'm like, just like this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, right. and that was that was my cue. Okay, let's you. throw it out there. So uh, BioSteel is ha- they have a trade deadline bottle exchange. Absolutely brilliant idea. Genius. Yeah. It's it is genius. You can take uh, your water bottle from the other guys, bring it into the pro shop and switch it for a quality bio steel. Much better bottle. Yeah. Top, what, yeah. Do we, what do we got for that? We got yeah. the, there we go. There we go. Wow. Guys. So, so everybody look, go, go to the bio steel website, look on their socials. They'll have the details for it's, it's the trade deadline, the bottle exchange program. Look it up. Take your nasty old moldy, um, green, <laughs> Moldy old. Oh, yeah, they're great. They're, yeah, they're, they're nasty. You've been using it too long. It's beat up. It's leaking. Bring it in and get a free BioSteel bottle. Like, yeah, that sounds like unbelievable. Yeah, they didn't need they didn't need uh, Bedard to, to plug it. Like, yeah, we didn't I, need I to you. waste our interview no, no. with Bedard we, to say that. We, we say yeah. it after. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't even. Though. I kind of just I just blanked on that whole. I'm just like I'm trying to listen to what he's saying, but then I'm like, what question do I want to ask him? <laughs> we have 20 minutes, and then, and then it, that thing starts digging. I start laughing, bro. Uh, I, I was, oh like, yeah, it was like, Bedard's ding. getting the like, text or whatever. No, yeah. he was getting. It was like a, almost like a, a clock was there to uh, like, uh, like an yeah. alarm. You think it was? It rang. It rang like three times. I was like, that's hilarious. Maybe they're maybe they're like standing behind the camera. Yeah. Uh, I, I think they're attacking. I'm like, wrap it up, hey, wrap it up, wrap it up, Bernard. <laughs> oh Bro, my yeah. goodness, dude. Nah, I mean, that, that was that was fun. I didn't want to just like read questions and then get a, a plug. Um, obviously, huge thanks to BioSteel for uh, for setting that up. Yeah, and uh, maybe, maybe I, I got to work the plug in right at the very beginning. We did ask the favorite BioSteel. We did. We did. So that was perfect. And, right and he mentioned at the beginning. I just did the bottle exchange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he said that's it. probably. They probably told him to say that. That's, that's <laughs> pro- well, no, because it's at the pro shop. They were filming and stuff. Oh, like that, right. So, so he's, we'll, we'll throw that in the, yeah, in the video I, somewhere. I felt, I felt that went great. Like he oh. got loose. Like yeah. it, 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 a little bit closed early. Like how was your day? Good. It was. It was. It was one word answer. <laughs> and then it was like no. Like he. he well, you, well you, you ask one word questions, so you get one word answers. Yes. No. no. I, <laughs> I was cool. Good. Or anything? No. I guess, I guess, but like as a conversation, like when yeah. you're asking someone a question, you're like hoping that they give you something to. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. two way, but I guess it was more of an interview type. I don't know. Well, I, he, hey, he, he loosened up. Got to warm up. Warm up. up. Hey, that's how it goes. That's he how it goes. He's not too was... sure. He's like, who the heck is this guy in the yellow hat? I've never seen this guy in my life. He's just a guy that's got everyone yelling like, at me now. Obviously, I he's... didn't even get to introduce myself. I know. I, know. <laughs> I actually well, felt bad. I felt bad too because he started talking about like, and I was like, oh, okay, like. And then I don't know. I didn't. I, then I got all nervous, and I'm like, "Yeah, I just got to start talking." What about the World Juniors? And I'm like, <laughs> "It was. It was like 15 minutes in, and I finally had a chance to stop and introduce Hayden. I was like, "It's almost. It's too I late." Don't, now. I don't really yeah. care. To no, be I felt because he, he started talking. He started talking, saying, "I can't go anywhere because this toe drag release stuff." So I'm like, uh, "Yeah, I know. It's it's hard <laughs> not it was to flow like, off." That. Okay, I have to just right. flow off this right exactly. now. Like, oh no, I wasn't blaming you. No, I, know. I, I was no. just like, "Oh, that's funny." And then I was, and I was like thinking what to say. Then I was like, "Okay, let's just bring it to the World Juniors." What was that like? I wasn't even the question I had for him what was the world juniors like and I, 
I, I was like, somewhere? I just need to stop talking. Because I was like, I was talking, and I was like, okay, like, I got, how do I get him talking and not me? I, no one wants to hear me right now. He, he, yeah, I thought that was great. And, uh, yeah, he, he picked up on uh, some of the, the sarcasm. <laughs> you know, he's good. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, oh, yeah. He I haven't was, seen your videos anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he was good. He was good. He, yeah, that he was almost great. big boyed me a little bit. Why like, don't we go through just a, a couple or, couple honorable mentions of questions that we didn't get to? Like of fan questions or whatever? <clears throat> he's not, Chippy, I'll, you got to answer them, eh? Not going to be able to answer them. But one that I wanted to ask them we didn't get to was his favorite stick. We, oh, we, right, the, right. the last yeah. one you got, like, what's his stick set up? Curve flex. Every kid wants to know that. Yeah, and it's yeah. easy for him to answer when he only has two seconds left. But, yeah. but yeah, what what were some of the other? I know someone. I had so many. Someone else asked uh, in my uh, on my Instagram how he keeps his fishbowl from fogging up. Oh, and, and another sorry. person asked if he's going to keep the fishbowl. Yeah, I, nah, I have. Like, did the fishbowl nah. give you any magic powers? <laughs> and that's what I had. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that would have been funny, but yeah, yeah, yeah I, I so we we posted on the uh, the Puck Daddy uh, TikTok Instagram, and I went through and I kind of like I got a feeling for what most of the questions were, and then just tried to work them in, like not yeah. not saying username X Y. You y- you weren't working through them in order; you were just yeah, flowing. Yeah. Exactly, we're, we're we got them in there. We we're listening to you guys out there. Yeah, but yeah, I'm not like hey, user seven three nine seven eight nine two two one wants to know. Yeah, if we asked your question, yeah, it was probably because you suggested it. <laughs> yes, yeah, but we, we don't didn't call you out because yeah, we don't have time to yeah, pull it up. It's just yeah. like <laughs> let's let's see most upvoted. Oh, it's actually my no, it's not toe drag release. That's chippy. Uh, next is how have you dealt with the fame after uh, Coach Chippy made you famous? He handled that one well. He, he kind of was like, "What? Oh, they're joking." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Took him uh, a second. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we got we got a lot of these good ones. Um, yeah, I mean, that's great. We'll just have him on again, you know. We'll go through all the questions yeah, in a few days. Boys with Betsy, though. You know yeah. What I mean? yeah, there we go. I mean, I mean, it seems like he enjoyed it, so. <laughs> yeah, like, he was smiling. He's, he's, I, he's, yeah, I think he's a beauty, man. Like, he's probably just, he's got a lot of eyes on him. He's got to, like, watch what he's saying. He's got to, yep. like, yeah, a big year. Like, this is the biggest year of his life. Like, he's been training, like, the draft's coming up. But you can remaining, t- remaining healthy, like. You, you can tell how he performs with, you know, everyone watching. Some players, some people, they, that elevates them. That yeah. picks so like it's apparently the it's more pr- like a, him. you know Holy. Patrick Kane, yeah, like that big show player. The, Do you know exactly. Patrick Kane? He's who's a that? big <laughs> yeah. Who's Patrick Kane? I'm saying <laughs> I'm relating it to what yes, I'm talking yes, about. Right? I, I was just come joking. on, Hayden. Yeah, we're joking Relax. with you. It's okay. <laughs> I'm flowing over here. <laughs> it's eh? okay, Jer. <laughs> he's a big show. He's a he plays. The bigger the stage, the better he plays. Yeah, right? big that's show. a bit They call him Big Show, don't they? Or the show, or they call him something like that in Chicago because they went through. I'm a Leafs fan. I just don't even watch any of that. I'm just kidding. Speaking of the Leafs, speaking of the Leafs, this podcast is coming out. We'll be like a week out late. A week late. Yeah. Are you just echoing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, is my mic oh broken? My God, I just choked on my gum. Oh my goodness. You had I gum in that just, whole time? Yeah, dude. I was nervous, man. I got <laughs> Benzie on the pod. Like you got, you went into Coach Chippy mode. <laughs> I did. I, I had a couple Coach Chippy modes. I went into a little bit. But. Yeah. Everyone will love it. Um, yeah, so, I mean, we can talk about it. It'll probably be irrelevant because so many people have already talked about it, but the Leafs just acquired oh, yeah. um, McCabe. Jake McCabe. McCabe and Lafferty from the Blackhawks. They are getting, in return, two conditional fifth-round picks or something, and they give the fifth round for uh, sure. Joey Anderson, some Golganov guy. Or Gorgolev. Or Gorgolev, Gorgolev, yeah. yeah and, Gorg- uh, Gorgon's all at- Conditional or a f- first round two thousand first round two thousand twenty five top ten protected and then two thousand twenty six second round or something. Anyway, the Leafs, in my opinion, it was, this was a heist. Like the fact that they can add, they've Ooh, added four heist. Pl- I like that word. They've added four players, <laughs> yeah. and roster, they and roster they did players. and they didn't get rid of anyone, anyone. from their roster. Yeah. Apparently Kerfoot's yeah. gone. I'm hearing Kerfoot's out of here. You think? You think so? They, I mean, they got so. they got to move someone. Kerfoot's gone. Yeah. But Kerfoot's to Vancouver, I'm hearing. Yeah. Oh, okay. From 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 where? From TikTok his dad, comment sections. No, his dad TikTok did. comment sections. Yeah. His dad he, told him this morning at breakfast. Chippy does his research. I do. <laughs> Dude, did, Kate. No, I never. I, I, I think, never said about the the Shane Wright one when I predicted that. I read that from a TikTok comment, bro. They're oh. like, this, this is what's gonna happen. I, I don't know who it was, but they they said exactly what I said. I'm like, yeah. yo, this is exactly what's gonna happen. It, <laughs> it's it like happened. this sounds like a legit scenario. Yeah. It's just, it happen. It's all about narrative. Like that. Hey. No, but that, I mean. Yeah. But anyway, th- who knows? Maybe the Leafs have been moving a lot. Maybe by th- the time this podcast comes out next Wednesday, 
they've already acquired someone else or Kerfoot's out the door. Hall's gone, maybe. Maybe they turn Ooh. around and, and trade McCabe Ooh. and Achari first. <laughs> you know what I mean? Who knows? Well, McCabe, well the thing is, the defense, when, yeah. they put, when they put McCabe in, they have to take someone out of the lineup. Yeah. Sandine. You think it's Sandine? Sandine's going to Vancouver. We're going to get... Hmm. Who's that guy? Oh, Shen. We're going to get We're gonna get Shen. We're going to try and get Shen, too? Uh, no, yeah. Sandine's going. I Kerfoot's think they need... Going. If they're getting anyone else, it's probably on the left wing. Because they want to try uh, O'Reilly on the third... Third line center. Really? I, I think they're probably going to try that next game. I have a feeling they're going to try that They're going to try it, but they need someone to play left wing, second line. But he's been tearing it up. Left wing. That. We have a ton of wingers. Like, how do you move you know? Tavares, Marner, and O'Reilly when they just like, well, Marner, feast they, on they other They moved teams. it last game. Huh? Matthews and Marner last game. Yeah, they, need to get, they need to get Pappy off that slump there. Mm. He got double, and what did he do? He double dipped. It worked. It worked. What did he do? Throw Matthews with Tavares and O'Reilly just to yeah. <laughs> get him, get well, him back a, on the score. I, I, I mean, he got That's two. what I said. That's no, a I, no, I said line. throw Matthews with Marner and Riley. Mm. I want to see that line. Matthews, Marner, O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Sorry, yeah. O'Reilly. I was like, with the, it's going to be confusing now because we got Riley on yeah, D yeah, and yeah, O'Reilly yeah, on yeah. forward. <laughs> but I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing Matthews, Marner, O'Reilly. Uh, right, JT like Nylander just seems like you can put him. With any, it's kind of like Marner. You can kind of put Nylander and Marner with anyone, and they're making guys better. Like I find Nylander's when Nylander's hot, hot like this, yeah, yeah he can drive a line. Well. Yeah, he can. He can. But when he's the thing is, he goes through. Like I'd say, he's like two thirds of the time he's hot and playing good. Yeah, a third of the time he's just kind of like going through the motions. Yeah, like I feel like he's got like an edge of chip this year. He's like I want yeah. like I want to like show the Well, lead he's going that. back and forth with Marner for the scoring lead. Oh, on yeah. The yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. he's like I always said I'm like Nylander has the potential to be the best player on this team. Like when like any given night, like his skill set. Just like Chip, he has the potential to get 2 points a night in men's league. Oh my. I mean that's did I did I easy. Mention, did I mention, <laughs> too, did I, too did I, easy like two goals. I brought goals. that up. I brought that up. Yeah, right? you, you need two goals a game. Yeah. I'm saying <laughs> we we need like hey, two Jared, apiece. Hey, you can't even say like when I'm winding it up, do I not look like you're flying? Am I not you, flying yeah. around these guys? Like if I, I, I just can't finish. Man. You, you rush end to end. You're like, blowing past everyone. So. I think we, we I gotta come out. Back. I gotta come out to a Toe Dragons game so I can set Chippy up. Yeah, no, I'm serious. Like, to, to be honest, I think the move is Chippy just rushes it and then you go back door and he puts. All it. I do is rush, dude. Like he, he I go end to end. Like I, I, like I, that's my prime. Like get the puck at the point. Right. Walk the first three guys. So you I'm, think Chippy would be finding me for the back door yeah. pass? Hundred percent. So passing was the best part of my game. But but he can take. It, the whole length of the ice. Yeah, right. He's just not finishing with it. So if he just gives it to you and you can whoop, whoop. bury it. I'm to tell you, I just need someone, yeah, that's gonna be in the right spot, the right time. Like I'll come in, I'll delay, I'll drop it to a guy. Like I had a couple nice drop passes mm-hmm. here. He my, cuts back. I'm a defenseman. I never I wasn't like a big scorer. I was a defenseman. I set guys up. Like that was my Maybe you gotta come out to uh Toe Dragons or not a Toe Dragons to uh, old paint cans old game. Cans. Yeah, we're getting yeah. Yeah. I just need to get I need to get my edges fixed up. Oh speaking of uh Did you try something? Yeah, yeah. I wanna know what, how this went. Well, yeah. Old paint cans just played on Sunday and we did a little experiment. Uh nobody could carry the puck across the blue line. We had to dump the puck in every single time. Oh my god, I couldn't play. I couldn't. I couldn't do one of these videos. I actually couldn't do one of these videos. Like I can't like jeopardize. We our team is so chill to be it's able to so just fun. do that. For it's you. so fun. I brought it up in the dress room. They're all for it, and we have. I would uh, be like, no way. I'm trying to go out here and dominate, Jared. What it was hilarious. I couldn't do it, man. It, I couldn't. It's blue line icing, so we can cross the far blue and then just rip it down. No, like your blue line. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah whatever. Our blue line. Yeah, yeah, cross our blue and then rip it down. Uh, uh, so the other team didn't know that they thought it was red line icing. Yeah. And so the first like uh, first like three five times. minutes of the game, they're like calling. Oh, it's icing. He's not calling anything. Right? I don't know how you do that, man. Even even when you guys brought out the um, those you're like, oh, we're gonna try all the different flexes. I just kept I just kept my oh, just, that, was, that was pickup hockey. Yeah. Yeah. I know, and I, could, I still wouldn't change for a lot. Fuck, I can't. I'm up. You, I, I'm playing out here. I, I used them. I used a mini stick for I, like I, I 20 could, minutes. I, you got more goals than me. Just <laughs> wait. Me. Just wait until the next uh, p- shinny shenanigans that we film. Oh, we got a we got a good one I've, for you. I've got a size. Uh, they're supposed to be size 10, but I can only find size nine. Size nine skates, and like size three holder. So the skates are this big. Oh yeah, and, like, and it's got like a three-inch blade on it, and we're gonna that's gonna be we're gonna like, taking that one out. That's are you gonna try it? <laughs> well, he's already on a size three holder. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. Maybe we do the reverse. Relax for him. there, buddy. Hey, we throw Relax like size there, buddy thirteen boy. blades on his skates. <laughs> get, get him some boats, eh? Hey? I have yeah. a big skates. <laughs> got a couple long or boats. playing or big playing skates. in speed skates. Speed skates. Speed With skates. The clackers. I say figure skates. What about throwing those old nineteen? I got a set. Thirty fives. I got a set too, but I like. I don't even know how. You wouldn't be able to. It's it's impossible. To skate? Yes. 
It's I saw these guys were wheeling. I saw I saw a, a tape from 1935. Yes, and I was like, these I guys are that. actually flying. I, com- <laughs> these guys I, are, like, <laughs> I commented on that one. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you get a pair of those skates, because you're like, oh, you know, if I played in the, the 50s, I'd have seven a, g- a game. I'd, I'd have Gretzky's <laughs> records. If you played, especially in the 30s, what skates are these? They were moving, bro. They were. Those guys they were. look good. Like and the game looked good. So so I went on eBay and I got a, a set of skates from like the twenties, a set from the forties, a set from the sixties. It is hard to even move. And it's not just me. You can't say, Oh, coach, you're there's some you know, men's league wash up duster. <laughs> I had Rob from um Butt Ends. He played in the A, right? He, yeah. he like AHL pro player. He was struggling worse than I was. Well, cause because he's used to getting the proper utilization of your skates, right? The skates now are like ski boots. And the skates yeah. then, it was basically like your footbed and a piece of leather. That's hilarious. That's, right. that's no what's, support, no ankles. No well, support. they started, when skates first started out, then they just strap on over your boots? Yeah. Oh, dude, I have one of those. I'll, I'll go get it. You guys keep chatting. <laughs> While we're... <laughs> I love that. He's literally going it. and get it right now. So, we're, we're a podcast. So, we're a podcast, not a video <laughs> hey Hayden. Hey hey Chippy, how you doing? Jared just left the pod, exactly and he's and he's screaming. Restored. Jared, no one can hear you. No, no one can hear you, Jared. Look at this, bro. Oh, he's oh, got. Man. Look at this. Do they bolt onto your boot or so just strap I will, them? I will describe for the people. They're listening. rusty as crap. Is what well, they I'll you put them on the spark sharpener. <laughs> it's just a piece of metal. Jared, you must have been using these in minor hockey, right? <laughs> yeah, that's how I got my nine goals. That's what old hey? Jared is. Anyway, there's a piece of metal. That's it. And it just Jeez. clips on your shoe, and then you just like twist it so it like grips on. Yeah, these things are nasty. I don't know if anyone ever competed. You know what? In you these? Yo, you could probably sick. you could probably rivet those Let's on. Video. Hey, you could probably rivet those on to your existing skates. Oh my god! And use like machine. Man. Yo, look what I got. This is a skate sharpener. What? What? I forgot I even bought this thing. That looks like a vice. It, you, you pinch your blade oh, in there, no and it's like a round stone. It... It's so dusty. Yo, what? It's like <laughs> Jared, Jared, hey, get it's ad- like adjustable clothes. to all types of makes and skates. You're messing up my uh, soundboard That's like here. An antique, Jared. I don't it, know why. Is... You should not be throwing that around. That box is probably worth. Dude, the, it was patented in 1920. A skate. I have a skate sharpener, a handheld skate sharpener from 1920. Yeah, Jared. If that was if that goes missing, it wasn't me. <laughs> You get on eBay for like ten bucks. No one cares about it. I don't know, man. That looks like some gold right there. Yeah. Well, this is uh, going into our next YouTube videos. We'll we'll try sharpening her. It was it was oh Wayne Gretzky's gosh. dad's <laughs> sharpener. It's got the instructions. It's, still. So it's it's a cer- to describe it a yeah, little this bit is a more. It's a podcast, Jer. It's Not got video. It's like a metal clamp with spring spring loaded that you press in, and it's it basically goes over top of your skate blade. It's got a rounded like file in the middle of it, like a, a cylinder. So that when you grind it on, it actually puts the hollow into your That's a your great skate blade. explanation that no, yeah. no one's understanding Aiden, it. Yeah. I'm <laughs> looking at it, and I got more confused. I know. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I don't even know how I would go about explaining this. It's I went cross-eyed trying to listen to it. And you look guys at just it. aren't as literate as me, okay? That, that is true. I am not. I'm not a word guy. I'm a, a picture guy. I'm not, and I'm not even that um, literate. The, the, the instructions are in Old English. Ye grabbeth the ye, <laughs> ye old general store. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> thou shalt sharpen thine skates. Okay, can we talk? Can we move on to something else? Okay, let's talk about. <laughs> yeah, Hayden, Hayden hates having fun. Let's That's talk. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just hate, like laughing. I just hate the people listening have to sit through us <laughs> going sh- doing show and tell on a podcast. That's hilarious. <laughs> I apologize hey. for. By the by the way, look how cool this shirt is. Hey? Uh, look how cool this shirt is. Every, everyone listening, look how sh- cool this shirt is. Oh, I'm it not is. wearing one. <laughs> it is a good shirt. King of the rank. I'm wearing mine. My, uh... That's actually cool. Yours hit your Oh yeah, I got like there. a little is that embroidered? A little monogram embroidered. Little HH hockey sticks. That's sick. But by, by the way, uh Chippy, I have like ten different skits that we need to film for like uh TikTok. Like we gotta <laughs> This is what I do. I know. We, That's what I do, man. We we need <laughs> to just, like, go. go into a hockey rink and film. I know. I, yeah, we need to go to an actual rink. Like, that's yeah. where, like, Austin Alexander's killing it right now. Oh, oh yeah. you those know what's videos funny? videos are crushing. So many of those ones. Shout We've out to talked, Austin Alexander. Yeah, no, he, he's doing great. But, like, so many of the ones that he's doing, I'm like, damn. Like, I know. Chippy and I have been talking about this on the way to hockey. Like, oh, we need to do, like, a AAA coach versus a house league coach. Oh, yeah. Like, we'll, talked about that, like, a month which ago. Which we'll do. I'm gonna, and oh, we're still going to do it. Tag we'll do an I'll tag him. He, still... was, he was a beauty at, when I met him. At, he played on my team for Six Buzz at the Canadian Classic. Yeah, dude. He's the reason I started doing the skits I was doing. I saw him doing minor hockey yeah. skits, I, and I sent him a message. I told him he's a beauty, man. So. Oh, yeah. He's great. But, like, it, that's the thing. I mean, that whole dynamic, like, AAA versus uh, house league or, you know, <laughs> 
Yeah, like I've, I, done, I've done AAA versus House League exactly. deals already. It's like, I'm not... So we do it in our own yeah, style. Yeah, it's inspiration, yeah. It's we're inspiration. not, not going to take like, his exact uh, no, script, right? No, but, but I'm definitely going to do some AAA. Oh, yeah. yeah it was, it's a great... That's, that's what, like, art's all about. Like, nothing you say is really what you say. It's what you've heard from other people. Like, mm-hmm. so it's like, you as art, you can use stuff as inspiration. Give them some credit. Be like, oh, like, you inspired me. And then they say uh, copying is the highest form of flattery. So. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. like you know they, s- they say do. copying is the finest form of flattery. Really? Is that what they say, Jer? <laughs> I think I think is that what Hayden just said? Jer. Yeah. I really was, admire him. Confusing me. <laughs> That's oh. the joke. Yeah, I, it was good. I, I, I appreciated that. No, but yeah. That like, was a high level joke. Thank you. Um what we should do is we should go early to the old paint cans games and just film those skits at the rink because before men's league, it's not often that busy when it's like a 10 p.m. game. Go for like eight we, o'clock and just film for an hour. I have like so many ideas I need to do at yes, a rink. Same. I just don't ever go to a rink. So, yeah. it's like, well, the other, or if you do, you're five minutes before the game yeah, and you gotta go. Like, to, like, there, there's gotta, a reason that I'm there five minutes before and then, then okay, well, Chippy, it. you and I can, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I can't, I can't, I, I have to go just to film. Like, I can't go to you I can't do it before to play a game. No, I gotta like go to like I'm going and filming oh. this. I, mean, I could go and film before. I here's mean, here's what we do like, we, we gotta go a day to pick up hockey and just like mess around and then just hang around. I don't need random people coming in. Why are you filming right now? And I'm like, well. Because I'm filming. Just get him in this. I filmed like a whole YouTube intro at my. I know that's one ki- of my men's league. Yeah, games. you're crushing it. You got to just vibe. But like for a skit, it's like if they don't, I have to like know the people on the team well. Mm. Like I wouldn't want just like some random people coming. Oh well, I was I was meaning like we could like, go into the know, stands, yeah, or go in uh, up to the glass like that type of stuff. Or there's always empty dressing rooms you could do as yeah, well. I'd yeah. say like. Obviously, like uh, January, February, bi- December, January, February, busiest months for Hayden and I, because like we're just trying to get as much, yeah, yeah winter, are- <laughs> winter stuff, right? It's it's hockey season. Right around March, April, May, we're kind of like, hey, let's start a cooking channel or something. Like nobody's <laughs> watching hockey, so that's when we can get together and just yeah, like, you guys crush are the social yeah, content. Working on the old backyard there, or the skating trails. I ready. got, I, I mean, I'm Is still, it ready? I'm still kind of sick. You guys crushed it, eh? I, I put in a good hard day's work outside with Jeremy. And uh, then the next day, I got uh, sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> got hard days. Yeah, it's, Jerry. It's, hey, like it's so weird. Well, there's a bonus coming. <laughs> how Hayden? I'm like, hey, Hayden. It's the only time for the entire winter that we could do any physical labor outside. We need to build the skating trail. And then he's just like, <coughs> I've got, I've got the black plague. <coughs> yeah, he was telling me he's he was sick as a dog. Oh, it's the weekend. Ah, oh, dang. Y'all see I on Monday. Be, I could be lying in my deathbed and Jeremy wouldn't believe me. No, you I'm invited me out sick. Saturday, but I actually couldn't. I actually <laughs> yeah. couldn't make it. I had, my parents are doing a kitchen reno. No, yeah. And you can't. Yeah, he, like, had, to, he had to he had to open leave. a door for one person. <laughs> no, pretty much takes the whole day. You can't leave them in the in the house alone. Like I'm not, that's not what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, just put put on the baby monitor and just watch them, hey? Just, just, just yeah, no, so I, so I had to chill out. What did I, what did I do Sorry. Saturday? You guys were, I saw you making stuff. You watched men build a cabinet in your kitchen. No, I was hiding, and I was hiding upstairs. Like I did Filming? Was, filming? Yeah, I, no, I couldn't film because they're, they're freaking doing stuff. So what, what, what was I doing Saturday? I think I just... Not helping me on the skating not, trail, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Not my, I wasn't outside. You know what, I, was, what I was and doing? it was cold. I, I think I went 36 hours straight just walking around circles in my yard with a, <laughs> yeah, like, a handmade Zamboni. <laughs> Building it's a skating trail. I didn't that's want to help, but yeah. you know, I got it going right down to the sauna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm excited to be good. to check it out. We we have to like it's it's a little. I'm hearing bumpy. a lot about this sauna. I haven't been in the sauna yet. We'll get you in there. Yeah, yeah I need to go into the sauna. You should get a hot tub there too. Ooh. It's or in the a works, cold man. Tub. Or a cold tub. Yeah, a cold plunge. I really gotta get. Like <laughs> I love the cold wi- tub every day. Yeah, that'd be that's <laughs> next level. Um, so anyway, we're about an hour in. Do you guys want to finish it off with a draft before yeah. we? Yo, Let's I wasn't ready. Fun, I'll, I'll judge. I feel loose now. That yeah. you know, we had Betsy on. Like that was like that was yesterday. Then I, now felt, I felt like that. yesterday. I actually felt like yesterday. Like <laughs> I've, I think uh, it went pretty good. Yeah, I've I've won every single one for like forever. So I think I'll just, you know sit let you guys have a chance to win. I was thinking we should do. I mean, uh, I want. I'll take your guys' input on I this because I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared either. Yeah, you're just you it's just have the, you have the topic the that and you're. No, I have like a couple ideas, but <laughs> okay. we've had these ideas in the works for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Like we can do um, the best hockey sticks of all time. We can do just um, the best players of all time. We can do. Like best hockey players. I'll just do the best hockey sticks. Best hockey sticks. I feel like I know more hockey sticks. All right, I would love to sit that one out because I was a discount 
rack shopper. Like I would not get any, like whatever newest one came out, I get some off brand knockoff that was filled with like cement. Right. Was, yeah. I was, I'm just, I'm I'm just going to go my off my minor hockey. Like what? Well, yeah. All well, the I got it. This is good. We're going to be missing a few because we haven't no Googling. We're just different, going yeah, off the different, hop. We're yeah. different ages too. So. Well, yeah, no, true. You guys are closer though. Like I'm an 85. Yeah. So yeah. We're yeah. 37. Like I st- honestly started with wood sticks. Composite sticks started when I was like younger, but they, for any of the younger kids listening, it started as a two piece stick. So you could buy a shaft and I, I, that was in my time. Like, uh, yeah, I, we had two piece. I was a two piece yeah. guy. I used two piece for a while. That's so actually going to be one of my picks. You, oh, nice. You get the shaft, but it was a lot of fun. I loved going. Oh, it was dope, um, man. It, it was like you, you build your own adventure. You find your shaft, the perfect one, and then you go look at all the blades. You're like, ooh, and you, you know, find the different one. I got the blade that matched. And, and you never ran into, into a situation where they didn't have your curve for your stick. Oh, except <laughs> for this one time, my brother breaks his blade. Uh, some guy has a heat gun. It's a tournament, right? Guy, you know, pops out. My brother's like, okay, I got to go get a blade. Goes to the store with my dad, <laughs> grabs a blade, comes back. The game's just about to start. Pops it in. He's the centerman. He goes to center ice, goes to take the face off, looks down. He got the wrong curve. <laughs> the wrong. Oh, my. How a, do you get to the center you, ice before no. There wasn't I, like another stick, the guy, backup stick from somebody? Well, yeah, but like he wanted to like get his, okay. his shaft, right? Oh, he, my goodness. he obviously bored yeah. it, but he's a right handed shot. He looks down. He has a left handed curve on. And he's like, Oh man, <laughs> I don't oh know. My goodness, I don't know how he did yeah, that's that. Actually oh my god, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but that, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then yeah, it moved to the uh, the one piece sticks, and then they just took over. And there was a still still a few people holding on, like, oh, I'm a wood stick guy. I'm never switching. I'm never switching. Come they, on, they say the feel was better, and I, I don't disagree. Like it was a bit of a softer feel on a wood stick, but now the but now it's a slingshot. Now if you're not using the technology, it's like. You're, you're a step behind. You don't even have to even shoot the puck. The, the stick does all the work. Well, you know? Betsy said he's using a 70 flex. Yeah, so. that's insane to me. Yeah. When he when he puts on a few more pounds too, he's probably gonna have to up it, or he'll be breaking sticks yeah, every yeah, yeah, other yeah. shot. I heard, I heard. You see how much flex he's got on that? Like it's Bro, a lot. It's, it's a it's a literally a slingshot. Like he's he's doing some physics. S- speaking yeah. of the uh, the slingshot. That's another video idea. We'll get into the draft, but uh, I was thinking for shinny shenanigans. There's a place that fixes, they repair hockey sticks. Mm-hmm. I want to send them three different sticks, and I was thinking of making the triflexta. Tri-flexta. So Tri-flexta. The triflexa. Oh, like I, different flexes for different it's areas? Like <laughs> you, you just give them three different st- broken sticks, give me 100 flex up top, Give me 85 down the middle and like a 70 flex at the bottom. Immediately snaps at the blade. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Hey? I think it would snap at the I blade. I have no idea. If you give that to I someone, I out. My bad. Yeah, that, that's all right. We're an hour in. We we had you for most of it. Eh? Yeah, you did. You're I like just, that I'm kid in, at the back of class that you can't keep focus for the whole now. session. I'm back now. <laughs> well, Jerry's talking about a triflecta. I don't know what he's talking about, but all right, let's get into the draft. Sounds cool. You'll have to listen to the podcast to know what I was talking yes, about. Yes, I will. I'll, I'll listen back. back. I'll listen back. <laughs> all right, Chippy. Uh, rock paper scissors. Oh. Ready? Rock paper scissors. I want one. I didn't even want to go first. Okay. Oh, well, that's yeah. why. Oh yeah. Okay. Yo, the applause. <laughs> Hayden finally won a draft. All right, Hayden, number one. What's I your rock paper scissors? I yeah. feel like this is a tough one to have first overall pick because it's like it's, there's so many. There, to is, from. there is quite a lot to choose from, but I got to go from my personal experience and also a lot of my teammates use this twig in different variations, but they were all the same elite stick, and that's the Easton Synergy. That's a great pick. Yeah. I use Eastern Synergy. So it was on my list. But My first composite stick was an Eastern Synergy. Favorite stick of all time. I had a blue and one. And then my next one was, I think, the the red S5 or something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't yeah, remember the, the name. Synergy, though, that's like an yeah. OG. The Synergy like, was a gray great. one. I had the blue one that was sick. Yeah. Um, that's a solid. I, I can't. I'm happy with that first overall. I like that. That's a classic. Yeah. That's like Eastern. They don't make them anymore. It makes exactly, them, it yeah. makes it even better. Mm-hmm. Hey, whoever bought Eastern, were they not? Re-releasing them was a Bauer. I heard they. I heard an East maybe Synergy for like released or something. Like maybe that. for like a a year or two. Or I something. I swear, like re, within a few a few months ago, that Bauer was like re-releasing. I'm, I'm gonna look it up. Like really? Oh, yeah. I heard I heard something. Oh, about I didn't that hear too. that. Um, I'm gonna go. This one's tough. Like for me, it was it was Bauer. Every kid wanted Bauer. Um, it was the. I'm gonna say. I feel like this was like a. A big stick. It was the Bauer 195. It had like the, Ooh. it had the yellow. Mm. It was black with like a yellow something like highlight. That's a good one. The Bauer 195. Remember, I just I was like, that's the sickest stick. It looks so cool. It had like gray webbing at the bottom with like yellow. 
And I, was, I remember I never had it, but my like my buddies had all had the 195, right. and I was like, the 195 is sick. Mm-hmm. Bauer 195. That's that's Be- a solid one. pick. I got the the goods. Uh, Eastern Synergy hockey stick from Bauer. The Synergy you loved growing up is available again in limited quantities. So they did a re-release. That's of so it. cool. Oh, that's, that's so smart. Too. That okay. is smart. Yeah. yeah, I would honestly just rock the design I, so of would a Synergy. I. So would on, I. Like, like a modern stick of any brand. So cool. Yeah. Um, this one, my next pick. Got to do a bit of a, a throwback just because I know how elite of a stick this was before the times of, of the sticks that I grew up with, and that's the TPS response. TPS was on my list, Beauty. too. Beauty. That's Beauty TPS pick. is a sick pick. Yeah, the, and the yellow is iconic. So the yellow, yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, TPS. Solid one, too, on my They like were the sponsor so of the OHL. Uh, were they? The TPS, because my, buddy, my buddy's dad used to work at uh, – the Molson Center, so he would always get oh nice old TP. Like he'd have like he'd be it's using called like, the Sadland Center now, right? Sadland Center, yeah. yeah. But yeah, the Molson Center is what it yeah, always be to me for me too. So yeah. he'd work and he'd get like all the OHL players would like kind of just you get sticks and so that's he'd, cool. he'd get the TPS sticks. And oh, like, nice. nice. I love that. Um, yeah. So for my second overall pick, I'm just going deep into the, the sticks that I always wanted when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, I think a big one again, and it's just, it was the next stick up. It was the the total one, and that was a stick. Oh, I, that, that was the when stick you I said got. the one ninety five. I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna go the total one next if he doesn't do it. But I was like, I gotta go the TPS response. So that's yeah. a solid pick. I had that next up, honestly. I, I don't like how it's not diverse, but it's like one ninety five. But then the, I couldn't get the one ninety five, and the total one came. I was like, I need the total one. Right. Like, it was like, what are they gonna do? The one ninety five because it was like the one eighty five, the one seventy five. Yeah. And I was like, oh, the total one. I was like, that's pretty great marketing by Bauer. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to find the story. I can't bring it up. Someone can uh, drop in the comments, but there. Was was an NHL player that uh, bought his old model of sticks from fans. Oh, like he. Oh, like people that had bought his model. Exactly. Right. So, <laughs> so his old pro stock, like other people were collecting it or, or buying it or whatever, and the company stopped making them and he couldn't get them. I think it was an Easton stick because Easton went out of business. Yeah. Right. And he's like, I need this stick. Like, I don't have any more. So he was like buying them back. Yeah, from exactly. Some guy had like, like, I'll trade you. Come on. I'll like, sign some, a Jersey. Yeah, so, some guy had like three of them in his garage and he, he's like, Oh sweet. Like, and he's buying them back. Just that's so hilarious. Them, like, what is, I, that's I can't find this we got to find the guy's name and have him on the pod to talk. About. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, you're uh Hayden. You're at your third pick here. All right. Um, Hmm. I think I got to mix it up and I got to go with a Bauer stick as well. Um, I think I'm going, I see I growing like up, I'm a bit fuzzy, but I, th- I think that the most iconic stick that Bauer released in my time would, was probably the one X light. Um, yeah, I like that. I had that stick. Um, it was just a super light stick. Like the whole Bauer Vapor lineup, like to me is all like the same every year. I'm like, I like this stick, the Bauer Vapor. It's light. It's yeah, light. All my yeah. friends had them. I was in between sticks when I yeah. like I had the same stick for like six years before I broke it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I never got that one right, but yeah, the one X. But I remember is... thinking like, oh, if I could, if I do break my stick, I'm going to see if my parents can get me this one. Was it the one with the three X's on it? Yeah, yeah, the triple. Yeah, X. I had that one. Yeah, I had that yeah. one. That was I scored a lot of goals though. But like I always just called it like the Bauer triple X vapor. Yeah, that. Or yeah, that's the, it. Was yeah. like it was like white gray with like yellow. I remember it. It was yeah. like a white. It had a white shaft, and then had like gray at the bottom. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. The the red there was one that was red I think the year after or before that was also elite too but uh, see I I should have studied up more to know exactly I know which I'm just one, go, we're just going off but, the dome right now yeah it's like, okay. <laughs> but I I like that pick that's a great pick I like that too um I'm gonna go with my third pick I'm gonna change the brand up it's tough because I have another Bauer one that I really like but big Bauer guy. Oh, I was reach big, out. Gotta was, get the sponsorship. I know. Well, <laughs> also also I was a big Warrior guy. So Ooh, okay, I'm gonna go. With the Warrior Dolomite. Ooh, Warrior Dolomite. I, I like remember that. I was a big Warrior guy. I love Warriors. And the Dolomite, they had like this cool blade on the backhand where it was like had some sort of pattern. Oh. I remember the Warrior Dolomite. Because there was like a whole bunch of... I had the one with the dragon. There, there was a lot of different Warrior right. Dolomites. Warrior was the most edgy with like... The, they were going out with some crazy stuff. Yeah, Even like dude. the naming of like the Dolomite, right? Yeah, it's like, dude. Yeah. It's, it's funny. I... Growing up, like I always just picked out sticks based on like off the rack what felt the best, right? Yeah. And I, it's weird. I just never picked up a warrior stick and felt like it was for me. Yeah. It was, it, I feel like maybe because you were a defenseman. It yeah. Was, it was, it was like a longer, like yeah. it, it was more of a defense stick. I think it was. And 
I remember like good for the slap shots. Yeah, it was a so. slap shot stick. Yeah. It was a slap shot, and I always took slap. I wasn't very big, so I I was playing D, right. and I developed a really good slap shot. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I guess Warrior was like more of like a defenseman stick. They always felt a little bit stiffer, like maybe a high, like a low kick stick or something like that. Yeah, no, a Warrior or high kick. Whatever. I remember. It is. Yeah, I was a big Warrior guy. My dad always loved Warrior. He's like Warrior. He always <laughs> like this is a sick stick, and I was like, all right, all right. For my fourth pick, I'm kind of up in arms between going with like historic or with like what just to me was the next best stick in my mind of growing up what I used this stick I used all through my teens in one version or another when I played junior C it was the stick that they got for the team and that's the CCM RBZ okay I never used the RBZ too oh my RBZ that was the one with the The uh, rocket balls one was it with the metal in the, the blade? It was, called, it was the tailor-made blade ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah and cool. it had metal in it, yeah. did it yeah. not? Yeah. Oh, that's wild. And I, like, I've got one in the shed, but it's a righty. Yeah, and like I, it's funny because I never really felt like this is the most coolest stick ever. I just remember using it, and it was solid, yeah. and I used it playing junior, and it was good. Like, Yeah, I never, yeah. I never did a CCM stick because I had stopped playing hockey at that point, and then CCM mm-hmm. started making those rocket right. balls. They right. must, did they get... Yeah, see, CCM sticks. I never used a CCM. Did they make sticks? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, back in the day, like back yeah. back in the day. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, they just it always made. They sticks? weren't as popular. Oh, I guess back Ovi when... was sponsored by. C- yeah. Yeah. I don't know what they were called. What was one of their first sticks, Jer? Like, oh gosh, I, I like I like I remember having the rib core, and I like that. That was one an earlier one, but oh the Reebok. Oh right. oh okay, you just opened up a Reebok for me. So, well, okay, I wish I didn't say that because oh my goodness. one of my other sticks yeah. that I was like uh, it's iconic. Hold but on, not hold on. Don't say it. <laughs> Easy don't say it. I had it. I had it. It's been Chippy's in my got videos his fourth too. Pick for, for it's the... not even that good of a stick it, though, it, dude. It's just so legendary. I can't believe this slid. For, I actually can't believe this one slid. This is. I wish that I didn't give it away. I was, I was going to go completely something different. Uh, I had this stick. It's the Reebok. You did not o have stick. it. O oh, stick. I, the O stick. O stick. The Crosby. I had the Crosby curve. I have yeah. it in videos. I use it in my videos. Yeah. Everyone's like, the Reebok O stick. The, like, and it's it's funny. So they had like uh, different levels of O's. Like and we're talking about holes in the stick. It right? was just like, no way there's holes in the stick, man. Like, and, I remember that. And if everyone's like, what does it do? What if you it? were poor, you had to buy the one with only three holes in it. <laughs> if you had a bit of cash to throw around, you got five holes in your stick. But if you were the like. The more you paid, the less gerbil it got. The stick <laughs> sucked. I'll tell you this. The stick sucked. There was no flex. You couldn't. It didn't flex. It had, it had speed holes, man. Yeah, dude. I remember I was like, I thought I was going to love it. Then I get this thing and it didn't like flex, man. Like, I got I got the three holes and I was like, I can't shoot with this thing. I need the five holes, dad. Right? And I got so the five holes and I was like. Bro. I need the seven. I need seven holes if I want to get seven goals for seven holes. No, no but I remember convincing my dad. I'm like, because I never there, touched it. There was this kid on York Simcoe Express. He was nasty, their captain. He had it and he was just lit us up. And I was like, dude, dad, I need that stick. He's like, oh, is that the one, is that, the one that kid's using? I'm like, yeah. And then I, I we went to Hockey Life and I was like, it was the most expensive stick. It was Hop the Line. And I was yeah. like, at AAA, it's like you need top of the line, everything. I can't yeah. remember if I, I had that stick or if I just had a friend that had it and I got to use it at yeah. practice or something. See, I, I was just at home drilling holes in the shaft <laughs> with my old coho. No, like but that, Reebok right? was lit, man. They like had the that, pump skates too. Like, like that guy that came to to oh. pick up hockey, drilled holes in his stick. So, guy, we did it. I I did a, like a gag intro to the Tovey stick review that we did. And the first 40 seconds, I'm drilling holes in the blade of my yeah. hockey stick. And Haynes like, what are you doing? I was like, well, obviously, it's got speed holes in it. Like, I'm going to – I just increase my shot speed by 10 miles per hour. Like, I'm acting really serious, right? And then it's just an intro to review the Tovey that actually has, like, holes it's in like the stick. It's like a wiffle stick almost. Yeah. That's yeah. hilarious. But they do it like it's, it's not laminated at all. It's, like, super durable blade. Mine, obviously, I'm making it very bad. Yeah, uh, but then we headed out to to men's league hockey, just pick up hockey, and there was an, an older guy there, and he had holes in his blade, drilled in. Come on, and I was like, no way. Yeah, and then he said, yeah, I saw your guys' video. Oh <laughs> and he saw our video, so he drilled holes in That's his blade. Yeah, and, and, was, and it's funny because he was the he was there when we tried out the Tovey sticks. What? Oh, maybe he thought he that. was he was there when we tried the Tovey sticks, and then he probably went and watched the video. Oh, no. And it was like, oh yeah, that must be a thing. The more holes in the stick, the more the better it is. <laughs> I, I felt bad. I didn't want to tell him, and but he still uses the same blade. Like he's he's not. It's not like he's ripping like hundred mile per hour clap bombs yeah. or anything. So he's he's having fun out there. It's awesome. I set I tried to set him up for a goal. Like oh. first, I'm like I'm putting the puck on this guy's stick. I'm trying to get him one. That was tonight. a fun trip down memory lane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, is it my pick? Yeah, yep. last pick. And I did find the NHL player who was buying his old sticks. So oh, we'll say that for the. We'll save it, yeah. Um, Number five, your last my pick. My last pick? Yeah. You got All right, it. well, 
uh, I was throwing Chippy off a little bit there, making it seem like my next pick was going to be the O-Stick, but it yeah. wasn't. Got him. It wasn't. I gotcha. mean, I can't believe O-Stick fell to that. You, I, my you, my list is looking him. so I, solid right now. It's insane. No, I, I basically dropped that one on you on purpose. <laughs> I'm going, and this is unbelievable that this has dropped to fifth, and that's the Coho. There okay, the Coho. So I was, that yeah. was my first. That was my I first mean, ever composite stick. I was gonna pick Coho next. Oh, you went the co- Coho. No, no, composite? I'm thinking Coho wooden stick. You're wood. I had the first ever Coho composite stick. That was oh, that, that was, was the gate. That was the stick I used to score 17. My my first stick as a, on my wall as a toddler, like on the ice, was a Coho. Yeah. yeah. So I, I had the first iconic. ever Coho composite. It was, wow. it was a yellow again la curve. Right. Again, la nice. It was nasty. Yeah, I remember that stick. Vividly. All right, Chippy, what's your fifth? That's pick? a great pick. Um, Might as well just call call it in. You're gonna lose anyway. Uh, that's so. a joke. Do you remember? I got the 195 total one, the dolomite, the O stick, and now I'm gonna round. Dolomite it out. sounds like a form of cheese or something. I'm glad you picked Coho because now I can just like kind of go with the one I wanted to pick. It's the, <laughs> Bauer, it's the Bauer X60, and this Ooh. stick was huge at its time. I remember never heard of it. Every tournament, it was like the X60. Um, <laughs> Every kid wanted the X60. I remember it. All right. Great twig. Uh, I'm going to just throw it in. Oh, also, also, sorry. I was going to pick the uh, the Warrior AK27, which mm. was a, it was a two piece. That was the two yep. piece stick I used, and it was a it was sick. Cause it had I the have heard of that, and it had the the shaft, and it was nasty. That's probably w- around the time where I was getting a new stick and grabbed it. It was like, yeah, that's not for me. For, for all the, uh, no, it was sick. I was bl- I had a black one, and it was. F- Freaking awesome! Mm. For all the uh, puck daddies out there that uh, actually have kids, you know us uh, more distinguished gentlemen. <laughs> I just want to uh, point out an obvious miss here, which was the Sherwood fifty thirty. Oh, I never use Sherwood. Just the most. I, I was in between the Sherwood and the Coho, and the Coho but you got to me throw... since I used the Coho as a kid. Like yeah. I yeah, had yeah. to use it's it. It's your draft. You're picking yeah. the Coho. I never for me. Co- Sherwood. The so Sherwood fifty thirty. It's still for sale today. It is basically the last remaining wood stick. If you want to get a wooden stick, it's the Sherwood 5030, the coffee curve. That was just a stick that it was the go to for the longest time. It's like the designated road hockey twig now. Yeah, it's a- the, <laughs> the problem is because a few years back I grabbed one, took it out of the pond. I was like, let me just t- test these out, these old Heavy. wood sticks, see if they're any good. I took one slap shot, it exploded. I think it was on the shelf for so long, the wood was just like completely dry. Oh, yeah. or, it doesn't last as long as the composite, like or, on the shelf. Yeah. But. I, I also think they might just have cheapened out and they're just painting Sherwood 5030. It's not the same. It can't be the same. Probably as not. the ones that like Ally Freight used no, to use to blast really 100 miles. With the elite, what, the, the high yeah. quality wood to actually flex, right? Yeah. 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 So I'm thinking they just cheaped out so they can just keep the name on the shelves. Fair. But. So who was it that uh, bought his own sticks back? Mike Green. It was the Easton oh. Stealth CNT. Okay. Mike Green. Mike Green. Huh. So he was a huge Oh, Easton the Easton Stealth. St- the Stealth oh, is another miss. That's a yeah. Miss. The Easton Stealth is a miss for that's sure. That's a miss. Maybe that's the one that I was thinking. So, because I remember I said the Easton Synergy is big, but then I had the red and white one after. That might have been an Easton Stealth. I'd have to look it up. Yeah, the red, the red one. Yeah, yeah the there red. was red and there was blue. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Th- yeah. This is a really hard one for me because I, w- I was really looking for some variety. Uh, I love the Warrior mention here, the Reebok O stick, but we got three Bowers uh, down the side. Over on on Hayden's side, we got the Eastern Synergy, the TPS Response. We got a Bower, a CCM, and a Coho. Lots of variety. <laughs> it's it's tough. I know. I was going more like on the Bower picks. Like those Bower ones probably outsold all of Hayden's. So I... like, that's where like we're going here. Where it was like, I'm gonna tap into what I don't know, I man. Think... Cohos, an Eastern no, Synergy, Bower. Just came. Oh, I mean, when I was growing up, no kid was using anything but a Bauer. You know what? You you have a great team. Like the Bauer one ninety five. Like, go look at the sales. The total one. That's probably the best selling Bauer stick ever. Probably the best selling stick ever. Probably. Are we going one. with best sticks or mo- highest selling sticks? Well, I'm I'm saying as far as a team goes, Chippy's going to be scoring a lot of goals here. He's got a, a lot of high end players. There. Maybe a bit of a problem in the dressing room. You know, a lot of ego on this team. Over to Hayden's side. I mean, th- these guys are are they each play a different role. You know, they all know what they're the doing. Only on the only one on his list I'd say is pretty weak is the CCM RBZ. The RBZ. That's the yeah. only one I'm saying is weak on his you know, side. RBZ is a bit of a glue guy. You know, he's more of a dressing room guy, not so much of a performer on the ice. Like, but... I wasn't. I. I mean, it just seems too new to me. It seems like Fair, yeah. I didn't even use it because he, it was so new. He's a bit quirky. He's a bit quirky. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about the CCM. There is that drum roll. 
I'll give this one to Hayden, but Woo! it's close. It's very, very close. We can argue in the comments. Yeah, I feel like I'm, we're always doing this. I I'm, feel like this is how it always works, and the comments like, Chippy wins again. Like, no, no, I won the last two? one. Bozo the clown's thinking on I the left. I clearly won the last one, the shootout challenge. Everyone's saying me. No, they didn't. <laughs> Maybe Go not in your DMs. Go look at the comments. Go look at the comments. Everyone's like, Chippy won that. You, you look see? at the comments. You oh, my the goodness. Comments. The comments are all over yeah, me. Yeah, all, like, all your comments are... Chippy Easy people, W, and then all my comments are, "What is Chippy talking about?" Hayden clearly won. No, we're not. No, <laughs> we, we've they're got not. a. The audience is split, a segregated audience. <laughs> all right, before we go, we got to do a, a a thank you for merch. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got to remind them. I think we haven't talked with us. We've got merch. We got hats. We got really nice, nice hoodies. Support yes. your boys. If you want to look like an absolute beaut at the rink, mm -hmm. you know, grab some merch and tag us. Hey, take some pics. Let's, we got to Yeah, we want to see some of your guys' merch on. Like, clearly, a lot of you have it now. Yep. We've sent you some yeah, of the thank yous. The we've got a lot to do here. We've we've got maybe like 10 to 20 that we haven't done in oh, the past boy. All right, that's week. Let's pour through these. Um, but we're not doing them all right now, but we'll pick one at random here. We got Theo, first contribution. What's up, Theo? What's going on? How's it, Puck Daddy? Snapback. And a two dollar donation. Can you say hi to Bow Valley Timberwolves? U eleven. Bow let's Valley go. Timberwolves. U eleven. Double A team. Let's go, boys. Bow Valley. You guys got this, eh? You got this. You got what the ship. We, do? we don't think too much. We just flow, Bow Valley. Let's go. There we Thanks, go, Theo. beauties. So yeah, anyone who uh, orders any of the merch, we'll do a, a shout out, and we pick one person at random to do it on the pod. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks for uh, tuning in for Connor. What an Bedard. episode. Oh, wow. we got Connor what a beauty. so many more Connors coming up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> David next pod. I, I, if your name's Connor, reach out. We want you on the pod. There's a DM. I, I know some guys at BioSteel. Hey, we're, ne next, we're just going to set a booth at the uh, the BioSteel camp. Okay? Oh, yeah. I asked, Let's just bring them through, man. They, they were, <laughs> I know some behind the scenes. I can't I can't share on the pod. I, I got, I'm got. i privy to some insider information. All right. But, uh, they had... The last one on lockdown. Nobody was allowed in for reasons I can't say yet. Oh, but the next one I'll be at. The next All one. Right. The next one we okay will be at. Yes, okay. yes. We got to bring the crew. Yes, bring the crew. Yeah, Sounds good. Bio still camp, and you can finally put the in a blender. Eh? I, will, <laughs> I would like. There's nothing more. I think that's like the best content. Like I want to be on the ice with these guys. Like I want to like, like that's where I think my just like. They're not. They're gonna be so surprised that I'm a problem out there. <laughs> they're gonna be so surprised. They're gonna be like, "Oh, I'm just gonna throw this into the corner." <laughs> and this is no. They're gonna be so surprised when Benzie thinks this is this is a cakewalk, and the next Sorry. thing you know, it's actually getting nasty. The, like I don't think he knows I got that compete like that. The, the the feed cut out there for a second. What he was saying is they'll be so surprised that he looks like he's having heart problems. I think. That's <laughs> that. <laughs> no, absolutely not. It's it's gonna be funny. They're gonna be like, oh, this is oh, we're just doing like a, a funny video with Coach Chippy. It's gonna be jokes. Yeah. And next yeah. thing you know, it's gonna be a dog fight. Uh, Coach Chippy's and you're gonna be like, this guy's way too competitive because I am. Oh my god. Because I am. That's, that's Betsy, why. They, that's why they don't. Let, I am. That's why they don't let guys like us on the ice. <laughs> on on and, that note, we better not invite Chippy, or we're gonna uh, get I'm kicked gonna out of there. there. I'll be there. Who's this guy hacking Bedard's ankles? <laughs> hey, no, uh, to be honest. You'll have done so many skits by then That'd that they'll, so all, they'll all know who you are <laughs> oh, yeah. They'll be oh, yeah. asking for you by name That's yeah. hilarious All right, yep. Thanks a lot for listening everyone Tune in next week That's Hit it. that subscribe button Follow yeah. Betsy. We got more coming Share this podcast more. with your grandma Oh yeah So that she can share it at her bingo club Let's go That's it Betsy <laughs> That's it Betsy That's it Thanks Bob Where's your forearm pumps? Pump it Betsy Pump it Feed the poor and heal Every time, ah! you, every time you end with. <laughs>